생각이 들어 이 노래가 혹시 너에게 방해가 될까봐 나는 조심하는 중이야 될까봐 나는 조심하는 중이야 내 어릴 적 꿈과 날 사랑한 사람 수 없는 별 아래 그림 같은 손 하지만 이제 나잘못 듣는 밤 인생은 동화가 아니라는 맘마 어디로 가야 하죠 아저씨 난 자꾸 뒤를 돌아봐요 맥없이 걸어온 기후에도 인점들이 많아 그림과 살표 설계된 나의 철로 
So I wanted to repot this monstera plant for that corner of the living room. But right now I kind of feel like this gray planter isn't really doing a whole lot for the plant and that corner of the room. But, let me move this out of the way. I got these two planters, but I did not realize that there'd be such a large size difference. I'm hoping that I can fit it in this smaller one, but I'm a little bit worried because it's actually smaller than the pot that it's currently in. And ideally I wanted to size up a little bit, but this one I feel like is a little bit too large. I don't think we can use this one. It probably would give too much space. I think the move is to try repotting it into here and hopefully the roots in the Monstera haven't gone too crazy so that it still fits inside. In case you're in the market for some good planters, I got these ones from Canso Designs. They make planters out of recycled materials, but they feel like super solid. I'll be sure to leave a link for their website in the description. I haven't actually... I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of what I was worried about. It seems like this plant is already outgrowing the pot that I put it in. So I don't really know how good of an idea it'll be to put it in this planter. Let me go check if I have any other planters that might fit this a little bit better. Okay, the answer is no. So I think I'm gonna try it out just because the other pot was like way too big. I think I read online that Monsteras like to be root bound. So maybe it will be okay if I plant it in this. That's half of the pot out. That should be it. Now this is the entire plant and all of its roots. The roots should still have more space to grow downwards. I don't think it's an issue of having it be too narrow. Let's try to get that in there. This is actually like my first time <laughs> repotting a plant. I mean, I've only been living here for a year. So pretty much all the plants that I bought so far haven't needed to be repotted yet. So hopefully this doesn't go terribly wrong. Got some soil in here. I'm gonna take off some of the dirt on this side so it's easier to fit in. It definitely seems like it fits, but it's a little bit tighter than I would have wanted it to be. I think it still should be fine though. I think it also should be fine because honestly, I don't actually want the plant to grow that much more. There we go, done. This is what it looks like. I like it, I feel like it matches the plant a lot better. Hey, hey, hey. So I think what I'm gonna do for this corner is use these wooden stands. I got these from a brand called Sun at Six and they're super high quality. And if you look, it's completely joinery so there's no screws or anything holding in place. So super excited about these. And I think since they're a darker color than the rest of the living room, it'll act as a good transition from the darker tones in the dining room. And I'll probably put the plant that we just repotted on top of them. on for now but I'll probably play around with the arrangement of these things until I'm satisfied. It does look better than before and I definitely feel like the pot adds a lot to the space.
Let's go to this for outtime. Mm. I like that it tastes like water. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's okay. I think it's a six out of ten. Mmm. Mmm. That was an eight out of ten. That's a nine. Nine out of ten? <laughs> Average eight point five out of ten. That's probably the best one. No. This, this is the best better. one? I give this a 9 out of 10. It's an 8 because I'm a little bit allergic to it. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? This makes a tongue itch. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you should have told me that before. That's okay. This is the best one for me. This is the second best one. No, I just my tongue Third. Fourth. This is okay, but the texture is too crunchy for me. 